Hey everybody that's watching this video, we are going to disassemble the Coyote V8 head uh, for full rebuild. Uh, if anyone's watching this, I got these heads with low pay, but they've been sitting out for you know the better part of a year on a shelf, so they're, they're dirty and you know I bought a rebuild kit for the whole engine, came with all some seals, might as well do it. So, but this is the neat tool we got in the mail, it's uh, the Freedom Racing uh, tool. They say that they're uh, all American. Everything in the packaging is American. Uh, it's made at stallionperformancer.com. Freedom Racing. Is, uh, there's a spec sheet of what it looks like, but this is it on the head. Now you can do this with the cam on, but I have absolutely no reason to do this with the cam. But as you can see, it pushes down on both cam caps with these arms, and then you gotta. No. My only quarrel is the bolt is just almost a little too short. It's almost got a pre-tension on the spring to get it to start. But once it goes, it's perfectly fine. See it pushing down on the spring? Now our retainers have come out. We'll grab them. out, goes in my cup, goes in that cup, that goes in that cup, and goes in that cup. Then you take it off. Here we go. Bing bang. That one goes to A. B. Lift her on her side. Valve out, and you know, this is why I'm rebuilding it. There's dirt and pine and everything stuck in it. In their box, so you know, you don't mess up the order of them. Yeah. Then we put her back on our side. We get to use our valve stem seal pullers. These are nifty. You just turn and pull it out and it comes out. Super fucking easy. No fucking around. And now I just gotta do it a bunch more times. But uh, we'll come back later when this is all done and on to the next step of rebuilding the head. That turned out. All right, here's the uh, the exhaust side. So I, I didn't show it going in, but you know it, it does work on both sides of the head. And it's got the little inset Allen keys. Okay, crank in your Allen keys. The cam cap is off. And don't uh, don't throw the cam caps into a gigantic bag or. You'll be watching our other video of how to align the cam caps. Because when I originally got them, the other owner had just thrown them into a bag. And, uh, you know, hope for the best that when he put his back together, it wouldn't happen. It wouldn't matter, but uh, I'll tell you one thing it, it does matter. You know, the cam caps are specific in their spot. So, yeah, it's. Her in, we're cranking her down to the tool. Now remember, you don't need to really hammer down those those Allen keys to the cam caps. It's not really holding that much. You can kind of hear that clicking sound, and that's when the it's kind of separating off the retainer. So you get a little bit stuck. There's one goes into five B. has these set Allen keys on here to move the arms in so you can, you know, get it evenly and you don't have to push so much on the one side. I didn't set that. I just put them evenly. I'm 
more powerful magnet would make this substantially easier. Who's got magnets? No, I don't. Both well, my magnets are full of metal shavings that I would worry about. Getting into my head. Roll the side. Get our Allen key. Now they do supply with the tool the Allen key for setting the uh, the side ports, but uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, if you're going this far, you, you probably have a set of Allen keys. This is the uh, the first well, I guess technically the second head I've ever taken apart. But I rebuilt the uh, the left side head or right. Side. to make this job as, as easy as possible so I go out and spend the money now. You're probably looking at it and going, this tool is going to be expensive. And you're uh, true, it, it was a bit of money, but it did make the job substantially easier. So I, I see it as money well worth. Uh, the tool was, because our dollar is so fucking shitty right now, it was getting close to about 350 bucks. Yeah. Just this head alone. Yeah, it, uh. Hey, that's a little bit better for you guys to see. We're on the exhaust side now. I'll keep the video rolling. I didn't really show you too much. I'm jumping between the heads on the intake. Only because I didn't really want to position it. You never know, someone may actually be interested in watching this. Or interested in watching you make mistakes that I am completely unaware of that I'm making. Yeah, by all means, feel free to comment below if I am doing something disastrously wrong. I am no, by no means a, a car mechanic, nor a fiddler of fucking with cars and too cheap to pay someone to do other things. Pop of it, and, uh, with the If anyone's on the fence about buying this tool, I, I completely endorse it. I thought about maybe possibly reselling this tool when I'm done, or or even renting it out through some sort of weird program. No idea how, but so, I think it's saving me a lot of headache. I had a fear that if I used your standard style, then, you know, I wasn't going to be paying attention and I would clamp down on, like, the, the head itself and not the valve. Just fuck the head up or something. But I do like it more than kind of that cup style that pushes down because you get a lot of room to, uh, to work around with the retainers and putting everything in. Again. It's disappointing because I've seen a lot of videos, uh, or not videos, comments online about rebuilding the uh, Coyote V8. Which is weird because it's not that old of an engine. 
but uh, the F-150 seemed to have some sort of failure rate that I don't know enough of. Lack of oiling or driver error or lack of maintenance, you know. But uh, when you look up, like, you know, rebuild kits and stuff like that, almost everybody recommends you to, uh, to just buy something that's pre-built. You know, either go through Ford or or go through MMR or, or any of the other companies. But nobody seems to recommend that you you do what I'm gonna do, which is take it apart yourself. And uh, if anyone's actually looked at like the factory service manual for uh, this engine, it's, it's actually sorry really quite uh, an old one. It tells you how to check your main bearing. Like, how to measure your main bearings, it has a coating system on it. And, uh, I guess that's the way it goes, because I went down to Ford to, to ask him about the grades of main and rod bearings they have. He said most people just buy a short block and don't bother. But really, you know, if you can buy a, a hooped engine, you know, and time has no value to you, like most of us, Possibly you at home. Great way to save some money and uh, learn on the way. He seems to be getting uh, stuck with a bit of oil tension. And then we got one more. And we'll take the valves out. Put them out a holder with all my marking and tape so I don't have to throw them in a bag like I had the cam cam. Missing your 12? I, I think I had your 12 multi point didn't I? Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking most of you at this point have probably clicked to the end of the video. It's it's uh, it isn't really that entertaining, and I'm way too lazy to uh, to edit this video to have any sort of speed up. Exactly. Wise words from French Slinger. Or, you know, maybe you're watching this video because you like Brendan's uh, rack of video of stereo equipment and uh, you're curious what the fuck we're doing here. This this is Nodar Performance. It's a group of five, kind of six people, all doing random shit. Their own cars and projects. Earlier this week, one of us was making a ring for his girlfriend with pencil crayons. It, it was pretty neat. You know, he used epoxy and glue. I mean, he saw the, the video on Pine Tree or whatever it was. Pinterest, sorry. Turned out pretty neat. We do sometimes work on cars, and occasionally things actually do come out right. I really hope this is one of the jobs that comes out right. But hopefully, posting it all on the interwebs, and the interwebs being full of potentially smart people. If I do something horrendously wrong, keep uploading it as I go along. One day, I correct me. I can hopefully fix the problem before it gets too bad. They say in the uh, instruction manual not to use any sort of power tool or air tool, but I, I'm wondering you know, if you've bought this tool and you, you plan on working on it, like, 
what the fuck you're doing. You're using like an impact or something on your fucking camp. It's to each their own. Now, if you guys are looking at this head, you can see how fucking dirty it is. Now, for a head that has like 20,000k, it's it's pretty fucking gross. Uh, when I took my SR apart with you know, the 100,000 GDM miles, which probably means uh, you know, 200,000 kilometers on it, and it's being a savage 200. At that, it was it was way cleaner than this. It goes to show, you know, if you're to take your engine apart and store it somewhere. At least cover it up. The most basic level. Now, if this was your typical in the garage, on the shelf, just let her sit around for a year. Okay, now we are going to move all the valve stem seals. Now these you don't need to keep around. You know, I got these tools and I am fucking glad I got it. Because apparently the other ways of getting whatever pliers you can fit in there and vice grips fucking around. It sounds like a real pain in the ass. But these were the cheapest of cheap tools. You know, I got this from China for free shipping. For like 25 bucks Canadian so for all our American viewers that's like you know four dollars for you but we will continue on on a different point decided to just throw this engine in and go. This isn't scripted, everybody. Like, there's a fucking quarter here. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? This is proof the point of no matter what you buy, take it apart and have a look. You fuck it. This, this is. Yeah, it's covered in brass. Later on, we'll take it to you know, the brass cut brush. Try. I probably should have got a bigger box. <laughs> had some stickiness to it too when it came out but a bit of this and uh, and it was like butter I guess to say. But yeah it's only having like 20,000 K on it. These exhaust ports are pretty Again my only comparison is my 
SR in my 200, but I guess I think it's always a because it's water injection. It's just clean You probably could cut this off and put it in a drill and do it a lot quicker. But I don't know. If you feel like it. Everyone says you have to do your head work by feel your first time and then you can start using power tools. Whatever. I can see it being more important if you're doing it for a shop. But it's your own time on your own car. Speed doesn't really matter. It definitely fell like some of the stickier ones to get some shit in here. There could be other bits of change in there, who knows? Remnants of the penny. Time knows. That, that is all the valves out now. It looks like there's no kind of major rust. We'll get better than the other people. Move on to wireless lane.
right, so we're going to uh, let the battery go till it dies so I can show you uh, what we're doing here. She's already beeping to warn me, but uh, we'll see how far we can get until she dies. But I'll try to go fast. I guess I could just use the pen. And other retainer in. Like this is this is like child's play, the level of ease. But uh, you can do this with with that being said, I I haven't used the other style. The whole clamp over, but this this is just the bee's knees. But this is definitely one of those tools I buy that I really hope I don't have to go in and use ever again. Because if I do, it means something went wrong. As I don't plan to ever work on anyone else's uh, Coyote V8. Oh, oh, look at that. It's, it's in. Pull the bolt out. Both retainers are are locked in. That's not coming out, hopefully ever. It is. Engine is locked. Just throw these in so I don't get anything mixed matched. We just keep rinse and uh, repeat. Again, I, I can't say enough good things about this tool. Sure about the benefit of being able to do it with the cam on. So you can reach around the cam and do all that, but I just need to be 
weird to, to be in that scenario of having the head still on. 